Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. It is Veterans Day here in the United States and Remembrance Day up in Canada, so a big thank you to all of those who have served and sacrificed for their country. Now this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, a few notable earnings reports, and which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. If you haven't yet already, make sure you download the TipRanks mobile app so you can access your favorite research investment tools on the go. Links will be in the description down below. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning after seeing big gains yesterday following softer-than-expected inflation data. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.35%, S&P 500 futures up 0.33%, and Nasdaq futures up 0.38%. Shares of Gap were on the rise after the company announced a partnership to sell its apparel on Amazon. The move seems to be a part of Gap's efforts to revive their sales. They'll be selling a selection of their merchandise, including hoodies, t-shirts, denim, socks, intimate clothing, and sleepwear on Amazon Fashion. They'll also offer Baby Gap branded nursery furniture and other baby gear on Amazon as well. Analysts currently rate the Gap stock a hold with an average downside of 11%. Tesla has called off a bunch of their solar projects across the states. It has been a sudden move that has left several customers hanging. Tesla is supposedly winding up solar operations in certain markets, including the greater Los Angeles area, Northern California, Oregon, and Florida regions. The company is also lowering the headcount in its solar scheduling, planning, and design department. Analysts currently rate the Tesla stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 58%. A recent filing shows that Berkshire Hathaway cut its position in U.S. Bancorp by 56%. In a Form 13G, Berkshire Hathaway reported the holding of 52.5 million shares of U.S. Bancorp, down from nearly 120 million shares previously. They now own a 3.5% stake in the company, down from about 8%. Analysts currently rate the U.S. Bancorp stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 13%. And United Airlines is offering their pilots a 5% raise well ahead of schedule. The move comes after months of prolonged negotiations between the airline and its pilot union that were unsuccessful in reaching an agreement. During the pandemic years, they had committed that they would increase pilots' pay once the airline returned to profitability. Last week, approximately 14,000 United pilots rejected proposals made by the airline because they fell short of expectations. Now, as planned previously, their 5% pay increase was scheduled to take place in May of 2023, but it will now be coming applicable in December. Analysts currently rate the United stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 26%. Now, moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we'll be hearing from Star Equity Holdings and Real Good Food Company with not much happening in the after hours. In the pre-market already, we heard from Algonquin Power and Utilities who reported mixed Q3 results. Their Q3 earnings per share came in at 11 cents, which was 5 cents shy of analyst estimates. Revenue came in at $666.7 million, which was up over 26% year-over-year and nearly $72 million ahead of analyst expectations. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 21%. In the after hours last night, we heard from Toast. Their stock is on the rise after the company beat expectations and also provided upbeat Q4 guidance. For their Q4 guidance, they're expecting revenue in the range of 730 to 760 million versus the consensus of 730 million. Their loss per share came in at 19 cents, which was one cent ahead of expectations, and revenue of 752 million was up 54% year over year and 31 million ahead of expectations. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 26%. And we heard from Poshmark, who did miss on earnings but beat on revenue. 
they reported a loss per share of 30 cents, which was two cents wider than analyst estimates, while revenue came in at 88.4 million, which was 1.75 million ahead of expectations and up 28.5% year over year. Their stock is currently rated a hold by analysts with a slight downside of over 4%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Doximity after their Q2 earnings beat. Trading under the ticker DOCS, their stock is up nearly 22%. They're followed by Toast under the ticker TOST, up nearly 12%, and KE Holdings under BEKE, up 10.4%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Mohawk, though I wasn't able to find any distinct news. Under the ticker MHK, their stock is down over 11%. They're followed by Double Verify Holdings under DV, down over 7%, and Relics under RELX, down 6%. So that is going to be everything for Friday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you have a long weekend this weekend, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you back here on Monday.